everyone. Welcome back to the children's message. Your favorite time of the week, Teddy's favorite time of the week, my favorite time of the week, where we're able to share the children's message. Today, we're going to be talking about Pentecost and what does it mean? Hey everyone, welcome back. So Pentecost, what does that mean? Why are we celebrating Pentecost? Pentecost is basically when the church was born. Remember a long time ago around Holy Week, we celebrated that around April. In Holy Week, Jesus gave the promise that he was going to send a helper, and the helper was the Holy Spirit. And after Jesus ascended to heaven, he sent the Holy Spirit. But what happened during those times? So the disciples were praying, kind of like in a room like this, and the Holy Spirit descended upon them. And it says that it gave them the ability to speak in different languages, in different tongues, it says. And it was it's a very important part of the story because in this Pentecost, it wasn't known as Pentecost. It was known as the Feast of Harvest in the Jewish calendar. And everyone around the world, around the area came to celebrate this holiday. And there was many people from many languages, many, many places, and everyone was speaking in different in different tongues. Just imagine going to uh, the United Nations where you can hear Japanese, German, Spanish, you can hear Korean, you can hear Taiwanese, you can hear Russian, and all these different languages. Now, think that if you were able to speak all those languages and understand those languages. So that happened to the disciples that day amazing it's so great <laughs> now what happened there so peter got and became brave with the holy spirit and it says that he stood among everyone there and started preaching about jesus christ and about what he did for everyone there on that day three thousand people became believers and christians and it is basically the beginning the church and that's why we have here a little cake and we have a little candle to be able to sing happy birthday to the church are you ready you want to join me now let me try me 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 the rule little i don't know i need some help elsa next time when i go to church you can help me out to be able to just get that range but let's see mm, happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear church. Happy birthday to you. All right. So, however, normally we would blow out the candle. But because in the story, it says that the Holy Spirit descended upon the disciples and it was like a fire had consumed them. A fire, you know, a passion had consumed them. We're not going to blow out the candle representing that the fire of the Holy Spirit is still here today with the church. But how can you experience the Holy Spirit? So the Holy Spirit helps us to be able to sing, to be able to pray, to be able to be nice to one another. And actually there's something called the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Now the fruit of the Holy Spirit are these. Ready? Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, Faithfulness, gentleness, kind of like Teddy. Teddy's very gentle. And self-control. Now, these are the different fruits of the Holy Spirit. And it helps us, us Christians, to be able to be witnesses outside in the world. So, out of all of those fruits, how many do you have? Peace, joy, gentleness, self-control. Us Christians, we have all of these. Okay? And we are and we are blessed to be able to have all of these to be able to preach outside to a world that is hurt, that is sometimes mean to one another, and to be able to share love and especially the message of Jesus Christ. All right? Let us pray. Holy Spirit of God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your gift. We thank you for the birth of the church. We thank you that you are still with us to this day. And God, we ask that you may be able to help us to be witnesses of Jesus Christ to a world that is hurt. That 
we may be able to give and proclaim your good word. That you, God, so loved the world that you have given Jesus Christ to be able to save it. And that through this love, we are all called children of God to treat one another with dignity and with respect, and especially, above all, with love. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. So actually, I'm not going to blow out the candle. However, I'm going to eat the little cake. All right. So bye-bye. I hope you have a great Sunday. We miss you. And believe me, we will see each other very soon. All right. Bye-bye.